what's up gamers, this is Skelomistic. Welcome back to Pet Train, Baby Tomega. This time I will be featuring the Red Panda Pet. Now it originally came out as part of a chest drop in the Pagoda of Harmony, up at the, up the top of the Pagoda of Harmony. But they just, not too long ago, had a pet Petapalooza where they added this panda to the crown shop. Now this is a balanced pet, and from what I've seen, it gets pretty decent talents regularly as far as critical and damage and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and train this pet, and this is going to be the feature for this next couple of videos, and see what it is that King Brutus ends up with. I have wanted this pet for quite a while, and now I'm really eager to <laughs> move on with him. Alright, so I will be right back with his teen level. And I am back. King Bruce is just about to get his first talent at teen level. <clears throat> you have to forgive me, guys. I'm a little bit scratchy on the voice today. I've been recording a lot of videos lately. So I, I don't quite sound like myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm a little bit choked up and whatnot like that. Anyway, that's not our problem right now. What our problem right now is to see what King Bruce gets for his first talent, which is going to be... <laughs> By the way, <coughs> yet again, the King's Isle designer has outdone himself. I love the little whoop 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 that the panda does. I can't do it right now. My, my throat's too tore up, but I'll try it again later. I love the little spinny move and the little, the little cry he gives. Let's see. He's balanced. Let's give him that. Okay, so he started with Maycast Spirit Shield. That's an epic talent. But I can't say that it's one that I would particularly want to have. I don't know though. Maybe. We'll see. I, I, I'm on the fence. It would depend if I was playing a defensive balance or an offensive balance. Hmm. Anyway. Well, hey, still start out with an epic talent. You can't go wrong with that at least. And I got banana peel. Add banana to current lane. 40 second cooldown. So that was his first one. And I will be right back here in just a couple of moments with his adult training. I will be right back. And back once again with King Bruce the Red Panda's adult level. Earlier I was kind of iffy about this with that whole May cast spirit shield thing. But I don't know. Maybe that will work out. If I decide that I want to put up a, a defensive balance set, having something that's casting shields for you can't entirely be bad. So... I'm not ruling that talent out just yet. I've uh, I've recently gone farming pretty heavily, and so I have a, a large number of pets to train, and it's worn on my voice just a little bit. <laughs> I pop a cough drop in here to try to keep my throat from being dry, but we'll see. Oh, you gotta love that storm block. Look, <laughs> defying gravity, the storm block survives. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, who, whoever does the pet designing and the sounds on those things, you gotta clap them on the back. That's just funny. I call, I'm gonna nickname him the Football Panda because he has a perfect spiral when he flies through the air. Alright. And... My talent is going to be... I'm gonna give him something with intellect because... I don't have a lot of intellect. Oof. I want to get that intellect score up there all the way. Let's do this. So he got balance ward, which, okay, ba see, there we go. More defense. Of course, it's defense against balance, but hey, that's all right. I'll take that. That would be a good transference talent for a jade player. So yeah, I'll, I'll, that's not so bad. I can deal with that. Stone wall. Add barrier to all lanes. 40 second cooldown. So there he is for his adult level. I will be right back with Ancient and we will see what he gets for the end of part one. Back again and King Bruce is just about to go Ancient. I've been thinking about this pet while I've <laughs> been spending this time training. I wonder if they're... See, I don't really know a lot about red pandas. I wonder if they're really small like that and they would make a cool pet or if they're like, okay, like the regular panda bear. That thing looks cute and cuddly and all that, but when you see one in real life, it's like huge and scary. <laughs> so, 
So I wonder if the red panda is like really little like that or not. It, it looks like it'll make a real, a uh, real cool in real life pet, but I don't know. So if one of you guys know what a red panda actually looks like, let me know. I'll look into having one on my next video. No, I'm just kidding. I, I won't have one on my next video. No, no, don't believe that. Don't believe that. I, I kid with you. Yes, I do. All right, let's see. I'm gonna. He's kind of a big boost. I'm gonna go with the yogurt this time. Okay, so he gets blocker. This is like the straight defensive pet right here. He's got blocker. Uh, he's got charge up, which is plus ten morale to self, and he got his ancient socket. So that is that for him on this one. Yeah, he's shaping up to be a huge defensive pet. Block and resist. And, okay. Anyway. I can't wait to see what it is that he gets in the next one, but just as I always do, I don't want this too long. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series or other pets or any other craziness you might want to see me do. If you'd like, leave a comment to talk to me, to ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skella Mystic and King Bruce reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace! Hey, what's up, guys? This is Skeleton Mystic. Welcome back to part two of Pet Training Baby Tomega for the Red Panda Pet. In the last video, I started training this fellow up with a quite nice assortment of defensive talents. And so far, he is looking like he'd be a great defensive pet.